WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman giving you the TFNN update. This is the noontime update. Dow's down 308 at 25,720. On my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, which follows this uh, brief report. Um, I usually talk about different patterns. Pattern I spoke about all last week was the potential for us to see this dashed line here on this left side chart, the daily chart, to come down, have a rally, then come down to a lower low, have a rally, and then push even lower. I don't know if that's going to work. So far, it's working today. So we'll be looking at the support now at 25,728, 25,680, 25,570. It's kind of a target area for this week. I don't know if we'll get there. Let's see what happens. S&P right now, S&P is trading also down. It's down 24, 2779. Has pretty much the same configuration. It is under the nine period exponential moving average of 2783. It is now going to probably test a 2771, 14 period exponential moving average. It hasn't been there since the 3rd of January. Isn't that incredible? All right, let's go to the QQQ, the NDX 100. Also sharply down, but it did make a new recovery high today. It's trading at 173.11, down $1.26. And the IWM, which actually was a little bit weaker on Friday than the others, very weak today, down two at 156.18. Gold also down very sharply, down Eight actually coming back a little bit, but it was down even more at 12.90. The dollar was having a very nice rally. It's probably pulling back a little bit. No, it's still very good at 96.72. Uh, we'll be back straight after this um, brief commercial break, and we'll go straight to the Tiger Technicians Hour. We need to be looking at the TLT, that's bonds, the yield, what is happening with the yield, and we're looking at crude oil. So uh, stay tuned. As I say, this is a TFNN. Midday update, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technician's host, coming up straight after these messages. Do I hear the music? Am I a little early here? Well, let's just do this. In the meantime, we'll look at crude oil, and crude oil is trading at 56.35, up 55 cents. Uh, within a trading band, let's see if it holds the 50, 54.50 level this week, if it goes under that. That's going to be a, a big blow to the crude oil. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technician's Hour, coming up.